Hello again everyone, welcome to the last video in this 3 part series on building and prototyping pages with up to go In this video we will divide the violet sections as model, year and energy. Let us begin. The text on the left has a different font than the one on the right. The same goes for the model text, but we can easily solve it. Now we have two alternatives, we can transform them into another group of divs and give them different class names or directly use the typography element like what I'm going to do in this case. We open up to go where we divided the right zone in two, making the purple boxes. Now we'll continue for the Ferrari title. We double click on the title and we see that it is an H3. We'll delete the title by using the typography element. Take it to title and in the tag we place H3. I'm going to put title test to the text. We won't put Ferrari because the data on this page will change according to which car we're showing. It is not a static page of a single car, but a prototype of the page that will show all the car models from the database. Therefore, the text will be a variable in the future. But for now, it will just be a text. We continue with the rest of the subtitles, repeating the previous method. We use typography and this time it is H4. The text content will be this is a price. Now we can see that there are two different fonts and we want to solve it without dividing the box. So we'll use a typography for each one. We take two typography elements to model and we'll see that in this case we don't have any particular typography. So we choose one. For example, subtitle, and inside we use body1. This will always be model, since it is the title of the value. That is, the model can be testarossa or any other. But the word model will always come before the value. So where it says subtitle, we write model. But the one that goes here is a variable, so we put the word value. Same thing applies for year and energy. We do two typography in each one. To energy, we also attribute two typography. We'll give this one here the same name as the one above, which is subtitle one. And here, body one. Just like before, repeating what we did earlier. This will be called year because it doesn't change and the one below, value, because later it will be a variable and the same happens with energy. We didn't give this typography, so we'll put subtitle one, subtitle one, and of course body one. So now we save. Since we're done with the left side, we will now move on to the right area. This description is an H4, so we put a typography of type H4 to the title. And to the body we give an ordinary text. We don't need it to have any type of typography. We drag the text element and in context we write, for example, a larger value, since this is going to be much more text, but it will still be a value. We press save. Up to this point we have finished everything that would be prototype. That is, we already have all the elements and divs necessary to create that page. We would have to correct the image. Now we will put a test image. Next we open the folder where I have all the images that I'm going to use for the project and I'm going to import it. We go to the images and match the name with the one we will use. Let's go to cars details and in the image section we will select the image we talked about earlier. From this moment on you can do save and build and once the build is finished we can enter the page. Note that as we have details inside dashboard, when we come to the page and refresh, car details automatically appears. And by clicking on it, we have the whole page prototype. This is a finished prototype. We have our top bar, the image, here below is the body, and down below the entire footer. Thus, we conclude this third and last part of the Build and Prototype Pages video. I hope you find it useful and, as always, thanks for watching our video.